right? <laughs> wow, cowboy. Yeah, we uh, got a lot of a lot of big moments, a lot of big fights, but uh, rank this one, man. Where, where does this one rate out of all of them? Yeah, this is uh, this has got to be the top, right? At home, setting records, holding my boy. That was cool. <laughs> what was the feeling walking in? It looked like you kind of took a second as you were walking in the tunnel to kind of kind of look around a little bit, soak it in, and, and and kind of enjoy the moment. Exactly. Like I said, all week long, just enjoying this whole process, right? If I can say one thing to all those up and coming kids like this is so quickly gone right so to my career I never realized that now I'm looking back like man I should have enjoyed those moments more so tonight I was like yeah this is this is cool man right so just just trying to suck it all in you know enjoy the whole process of, of this week's what was the feeling there in the fight I mean uh Mike had a couple of, you know, stopped your takedowns a couple of times. He looked strong in there. I mean, what, 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 what were you feeling as it was playing out? Well, I knew he was going to be really strong. And he, I, th I figured he was be more explosive than that. When he tried to take me down, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm sure you can have it. I'll give it to you. But um, staying disciplined, you know, for one time, we've this probably, it's crazy to say this, moving away from Winkle John's gym, we actually had a game plan coming into a fight. I've never really had a game plan. So working with my coaches and, them being just gonna like stay calm, stay at the end of his range, you know, and, and let him let him tire out and let him do this, and then we'll come and pick him apart, you know. Don't don't just go out there and walk him down like Terminator and try and get your head beat in, right? So it was good and it worked out. Yeah, no doubt. Talk through the submission. I mean, did, did you know you had it right away? I mean, it was you had to make some adjustments on. Huh? Yeah, when, once I I seen the clock's thirty seconds left, the monitor's right by me. I go, I better spin with his arm bar, and I did. He should have rolled the other way out of it. I don't know why he didn't. You know, like, got you. And my belly down. I was just going to take it until the referee pulled me off. So. He tweeted after that you broke it. Did you Did you know that it was – could you feel it? I felt it pop before I put belly down. So the rest was just tearing the chicken wing off. Yeah. I was taking it home with me. No doubt. Well, I mean, it was pretty spectacular. You said you're going to 155. Yeah. Fuck, I hope – I don't know if we could be any more clear about it. Can we? You think maybe? <laughs> That's the move. What, what, what yeah, do you... 155, I think New Year's card would be cool, you know. I don't know. I'll fight on Fight Pass. I don't give a shit. We can, I'll be the first fight of the night. As long as the paycheck comes in. Oh, yeah. That, that come anyway, <laughs> but uh, 155, let's go. Let's make a run. Let's do this. Let's train hard. Let's be focused. Let's get a motherfucking belt. And you got records now, right? Yeah, we've always had records. we got a couple more now. It's good. <laughs> You can do it that quick, huh? 55, 182. Yeah, I'm 182 right now. That's what I walked in here for fight week, and they asked me, like, what do you weigh? I'm 182. It's just, this is heavy for me. When I'm at 55, usually I'm like 76, 77, right? So, um, yeah, well, I mean, I'm going to have to hire a dietitian, right, for sure, because that last five pounds sucks. But I'm going to do it right. Uh, it's time. It's time to get my ducks in a row. <laughs> Well, this is a new cowboy. Uh, no, no, not new. <laughs> <laughs> He's been here this whole time. Well, okay, doing some new things, though, right? Caring about Adele a little bit more. But yeah. Are you, is it to the point where you'll give us a name? Because that's something you'll never do. Name. Who I want? Yeah. Don't care. Still don't okay. care. But there is somebody there that came up and told me, so. Who is your clickbait? Bitch. <laughs> 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 Won't even get me to say it, huh? <laughs> not gonna happen, but uh, not gonna happen. Yeah. So UFC already gave you an idea what they're looking yeah. at. Yeah. And they, you think you can do it in December? Oh, I don't. They didn't say it. They didn't, fucking. They told me the who for once in my life. First, uh, I don't know. Fifty-five though. Fifty-five. And you like it? It's very exciting. The guy's very exciting. You like it. You all like it. You'll be like, hmm. What about him is so excited? <laughs> what about this guy is? <laughs> can, we, can we get three guesses? No. <laughs> hey, cowboy. Uh, Perry didn't think you were going to stand with him, and then he tries to take you down. Did that surprise you? It super surprised me. He said, like, when he reached in and took a body lock on me, instead of like reaching around and defending it, I was like, yeah, just there you have it. There you go. I didn't even, I just crumbled. And uh, when I was inside control, I was waiting for him to big elbows. He didn't. He was just like breathing heavy, and I was like, well, I'll just lay here, let him tire out, and spin and get guard. And yeah, I don't know why he did that. Earlier this week, you said you went over Melvin. It was one of the biggest moments of your career. Where does this one stand? Oh, this trumps it, man. I mean, just, man, that place went crazy. You couldn't even hear Bruce Buffer and Nance and anything, right? It was just so cool to be home, setting records. Set two records tonight, man. It's crazy. 
so cool. And this is your first fight as a father, correct? Yeah, first fight as a father. It was, it was unbelievable, man, for sure. You yelled so right when the fight was over. You were yelling. Were you yelling for your kid? Were you hit my motherfucking boy? That's what I yeah. said. <laughs> I don't even care. And then I was in the shower just now. I was like, damn, I feel so bad. Like I put my grandma in second place. You know what I mean? <laughs> Seriously, I told Lindsay. That I said, man, the first person I called for was my son. Like, maybe I am changing. Huh? That's crazy because Dana was like, your grandma's right there. I'm like, get my fucking boy. <laughs> You walked her out, right? You're, you're yeah, out. of course. I mean, she, yeah, she's just my grandma. Like, I love her to death. But I mean, my first instinct was like, get, I don't even care. I don't even care. He's allowed in here. He's he's a cornerman. Yes, bring him in. We're good, you know. So it didn't matter to me. What were you thinking of that moment? You just wanted to share the share the moment with him. Yeah, I just wanted to hold him, man, kiss him, and fuck yeah. I don't know. It's a feeling I've never felt in my life ever. It's crazy. So I'm so judgmental the whole week. Everyone's like, is fatherhood changing? I'm like. Pfft. You're right, lame. And here I am, cliche as shit. Talking about <laughs> fatherhood changed me. Was it as soon as he won, you just hugged your son, or was it like the whole? No, we were in the back. The guy showed me a picture of him all dressed up, and I was just, I couldn't even fight the tears back, man. I was like, back there bawling, like, oh. And I never, like I said, I've never felt anything like that ever in my life. And then when I walk, walked out and I kissed him right before I went in the cage, like, it didn't matter what pair he had. Like, you're not, no, I'm coming. You're not coming. For how much was surrounding this fight, you seemed remarkably composed and calm. Yeah, but that's what went into that. The oldest guy in this car, the oldest guy in the yeah, car. Yeah, the oldest guy in the car. That's what that is. Years of being in main events and co-main events, and years of having all this media attention and hype and build up, and so just learning to, to just deal with in the media right now, right, and not dwell on all this. Oh, you're in a set record. Oh, you're you're fighting for this. You're fighting for that. Just Going with the flow, man, enjoying the process, right? So that's kind of what this all, this week really is to me, enjoying the process. So you used to have to work to keep your composure now, which is natural, it's instinct now. Yeah, it's like, man, exactly, trying to almost not stay too calm, right? Like if my guys are back, like, let's go, can we, can we see a little bit of red the engine a couple times, please? I'm like, yeah, we're, we're good. So, um, how about Chilito, man? What a fucking finish. Did you get to watch it, yeah? Dude! Love that kid. He's like my brother. I fucking trained with him so much, so many times. Like, I'm almost more excited for him. Dude, what? Boom. <laughs> Come on. And if one, one more second ticks off the clock, he loses. He was behind on the card. Dude. So if that goes one more second, he loses the fight. So, and I, I ran to the cage, and they stopped me because I thought I was Khabibin in there. I was, <laughs> I was trying, just trying to get, give him a hug. And then halfway through my hug, I thought, man, I'm going to get blood on my twenty dollars jacket, so I might want to step back a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. Anything you want to say to Winkle John? No. No, he's pretty clear. My, <laughs> my, good, my good friend Mikey handled that for me. Um, yeah, no, they, my grandma went and told Winkle John should have bet on the dinosaur. You know? Mm. Should have bet on the dinosaur. He knows what he did. It's all over money, too. That's the worst part. So, um, it's like he's still not getting paid, is he? <laughs> all over think? money. It's just a joke, man. What do you think yeah. of the old school canvas? So cool. The, everything about this is cool to me. This whole, this whole process, this whole journey, this whole moment, man, and setting records. Look at this. Right? Come on. Couldn't have dreamt it any better. Fuck yeah. God, now that you have this moment, can, can you just tell us who your team is? Like, who are these guys that brought you out, that, that made Bums. you who you are? Bums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You guys can see them. Why don't you guys come in here? This is this is going to be a shock <laughs> because they're black, so this, <laughs> this, is, this is like, what? Whoa! Hey. hey! Not one, but two black friends. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get them on the side. Make this yeah, Oreo, yeah, Oreo, Oreo, Oreo right. Make right. the Oreo right. right. This is Jafari. He's uh, been with me for a long time in wrestling. His brother's actually way better than he is. But, uh, <laughs> not true. <laughs> not Mary, true. judo, and uh, jiu-jitsu coach. You don't really do much judo, but we try. I try. He's really good. Um, also, Joe Schilling, I don't know if he's in here or not. He's in the band. Jonathan Webb here came came back. Come on, come all on. All the old school people come came on. from come the camp. John's been really back in Paul Felder. We're all trans ranch. Um, everyone came together for this fight, you know, and... So unbelievable. Well, Leonard came up. Leonard came up. We had Leonard Garcia swinging at the ranch. Oh, yeah. It's fun, man. It's a good journey. Good moment. Uh, now I got to go drive my RV home. 
I'm gonna get on a plane and go back to work. Yeah. I'm a working man. What's that, an acting gig, or what do you got? Oh yeah, I can't say. Can't say. <laughs> Secret assignment? Secret, no, it's not secret, buddy. It'll come out Netflix movie. Netflix. 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 Mark Wahlberg. You're starting a fight promotion? Right? Well, I'm doing that, too. <laughs> <laughs> stay, yeah, tuned. Cow, stay tuned. Cowboy <laughs> Fight Series. Yeah, that's coming out in January. I'm super excited about that. Uh, we're having a bunch of different weight classes. The um, we're going to have like a almost like a tournament style. The winners, gonna, we're going to take them under our wing and, and groom them and grow them. And who's the right manager? Who's the right? What's the wrong questions? What's the right questions? Uh, how do you diet? How do you train? You try and build these guys up and then you know, send them off. Let them leave the nest. Charles Cowboy, the promoter. You know, Damn. How is that going to be? Damn. Probably like a scum lord. Word <laughs> 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 is, there's a lot of 125 pound fighters. <laughs> a lot of 125 pound fighters out there. Yeah, right? No <laughs> kidding. But they're pro. We're only, I'm only amateur. i got to start. So slow and build our way up. I'm super excited about the process. Super excited about all the guys coming out, living at the ranch, building these guys up. It's going to be a, a great experience for everybody, man. Um, with the coaches here, you know, um, they get to do it pro bono, so they're super pumped on that. <laughs> so he says. <laughs> but um, no, it's great family, great friends, man. These guys. So the best thing about the ranch is these guys have to leave their families, right, and live with me. That's like my thing. I'm kind of selfish. So if I'm in Boston, they're in Boston. If I'm like you guys got, I know you have wives, kids, families. You have to come with me, and that's and it's hard, and they do it. So um, my hats off to them, man. Literally, it's, it's, it's like we win together, we lose together, we eat together, we fucking you know, and it's so cool to call these guys my family and be part of this. So thank you, guys. Yeah, black people. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good. Right. Thanks, guys. Right. 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 Yes. Uh, Kelly, yes, do you want this? Absolutely. Both of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes.